We are here today with Gloria Lowe, who is an amazing uh, activist and thinker and doer here on Detroit's East Side. How are you doing, Gloria? I'm doing great, Ryan, and yourself. I'm doing great. Um, one of the organizations that you work with is called We Want the Green Too. Uh, could you explain for folks who aren't familiar with the organization what you guys do? We Want Green Too is a training module. We train uh, people who are returning home, returning citizens, disabled vets, in retrofitting, that is recreating housing in a sustainable green fashion. Beautiful. And uh, you have a project house that you guys are working on right now, is that correct? Uh, that is correct. But as you know, uh, working on houses is always a progress. Um, that a work in progress. A work in progress. It continues forever. Yeah. And um, you mentioned that you had had an interesting meeting uh, with someone from, was it the University of Michigan? Yes. Dr. Uh, Jim Chaffers is the, he just retired as the head of the Department of uh, um, Architectural Studies and Urban Development for the University of Michigan and gave me a call and decided to stop by and see the project house and discuss plans moving forward. And uh, what kinds of things can you share with folks, some of the things you talked about? Just a little. Uh -huh. uh, we are looking forward, we're doing some futuring, that is looking at how we want Detroit on the east side to look in the next 10, 15 years. And we've decided to use the present community as the start of uh, the program to redevelop a community of like-minded people on the east side. Mm -hmm. So the work that We Want the Green 2 does in going in and dealing with homes that have been abandoned uh, is if potentially they're going to be torn down, demolished, and some homes do need to be uh, demolished, then it can be uh, more of a reclaiming of much of the uh, valuable material uh, that can be reused and recycled. Uh, is, that, is that correct? We do not like the word demolished okay. because of every home has a foundation. And what it happens from that foundation to the roof is oftentimes something that can be restructured. And that's what we will do. And of course, in the process of doing that, we recycle all the materials that we can. Uh, either to help with that particular uh, development or project that we're on or to perhaps help someone else that's trying to retrofit their homes mm -hmm. so that we have as close to zero waste as possible. And there are other homes clearly uh, that deserve uh, some tender loving care and uh, adaptive uh, uh, reuse and redevelopment and that is also what you guys do is you can come into a house potentially and retrofit it with uh, green and sustainable, energy efficient things uh, and make it livable, that creates number one, jobs in the neighborhood, and number two, really brings back the neighborhood in taking an eyesore, a potential negative uh, in, the, in the neighborhood and creating a beautiful livable space for someone who perhaps doesn't have a home now. Absolutely, sustainability is a whole picture. And we try and keep in mind everything that is involved in that. We want the children to be able to see wonderful green spaces that we engage them in creating. Uh, we go into homes and show perhaps seniors how to do a lot of uh, green retrofits, low cost, that will help cut their utility bills. Uh, so we're educating them. At the same time, because so many of the people that work with me are young people, we re-engage the community in this whole intergenerational piece where you have younger people now talking and working with elders once again, the way it was 20 or 30 years ago. But all of this is sustainable. All of this is about recreating this life where we take care of one another. We share and we care, and we care for the planet. Thank you very much, Gloria. Well, stay tuned for updates. Um, we want the green, too, and the other great work you're doing here on the east side. Hey, we thank you, too, Ryan. Okay.